So now let's move away from flats to some other topics as on politics. And the vice chairperson of the Foreign Affairs Committee of Parliament, Amprechum Sapon Kweku, has lashed out at critics who think the resignation of Afisa Otiku Jaba is a blemish on Ghana. He cited a post by the minority spokesperson on foreign affairs, Samuel Okujetu Ablakwa, who said that former minister's refusal to accept the ambassadorial role exposes the weak government. And Prichum spoke to Winston Amwa on 3FM's morning show, Sunrise. I don't agree. I think my colleagues will need to go and learn the basics of diplomacy. Oh, why? The reason why I'm saying they need to go and learn the basics of diplomacy before they make this kind of comment is that, one, if, if uh, a government recalls an ambassador or reassigns an ambassador to another position and is trying to fill the, the, the vacancy, and there are even challenges. How does that affect the relationship? You don't necessarily have to have a full-grown ambassador before the relationship works. I have been, uh, 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 I have been a diplomat before, so I know what I'm talking about. In the absence of the substantive ambassador, there is always a charge the affairs who handles the situation expertly. So, uh, I don't see where they are. Cause that's why I said they need to go and learn the basics of diplomacy. You Positions have been vacant for about six months, even a year, before they are filled. And, 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 and diplomatic relationships are never affected. Because there are always competent, competent people at post to do government business. So, I don't see where they are coming from. Unless they want to be mischievous. So let's now look at this issue even further because the Coalition of Women Organizers, a group made up of all women organizers of the various political parties, have backed the former gender minister's decision to quit politics. Utiku Jaba, who was recently redesignated from the gender ministry to Italy as Ghana's ambassador, has rejected the appointment citing some family-related issues as her excuse. I will be joined in the studio by Jeanette Nabla, who is the president of the Coalition of Women Organizers. Good afternoon to you, Jeanette. Good afternoon. Right, so politicians, they quit all the time. So why are you saying you are backing um, um, Utiko Jabez's quitting of politics? What, what is there to back? She didn't just quit. She was reshuffled and she quit. Um, but you know, politicians, they get reshuffled all the time. Yes. And has anybody ever quitted from uh, being well, that was her decision to quit? Yes. She has was she forced to quit? She was not forced. Right. The problem we have here is that she was Minister for Gender and then was repositioned as an ambassador, which is of a lower rank because she, is now, she will be answerable to the Minister for Foreign Affairs. So it's a demotion in, in her part. And truth is that we didn't want her to accept that position. But, but this was this a decision. Is, this is service to your country whichever capacity you are in you are serving your country whether it's a demotion or it's a promotion she was the only one who was demoted the, the, the rest were that, not also is that serving an, an excuse it is not an excuse but it is prerogative right on you to either accept it or not and, and she, said she, she has said she will quit so why why is your coalition backing what is there to back we are we are we are saying that we are proud that she stood up and said she's not going to do it it has never happened in this country she's the only woman who came out boldly to say that i will not if you are demoting me for no cause because with the ministry of gender she has done a great work I beg your pardon, pardon but i believe that there's some sort of mo uh, monitoring that is done there's there's a, a whole um, minister for monitoring and evaluation and i believe the president did his monitoring and evaluation and believe that um, um, Utiko Jaba deserves the position if, of if the um, <laughs> ambassador. If the monetary and evaluation manager or, or, or this uh, minister did his or her work well, she would have been the first minister to be. She, she, the, the reshuffling would have given her a better position because among all the ministers, she has worked more than any other minister could do in that ministry. She, do you know that she's the only minister who invited all the regional women, uh, national women organizers on board anytime there is an issue at the gender ministry? She always calls whenever the gender ministry is going to do something. She calls all the other political parties devoid of political colors. Do you know that the International Women's Conference at New York, no woman have ever gone apart from the party's own people. 
when all the ministers for genders were there, they would go with their party members. So what would, you, decentralized. what would you have the president do for the me? I am disappointed at the president that hard work is not rewarded. That is what I've seen. She's not rewarding hard work. If she's rewarding hard work, Madam Oti, uh, this in Honorable Otiko Jaba should be the first person that she, she would have given a ministry like, like uh, this in Ministry of um, um, uh, Trade or Ministry of Finance. People who are trying should be given a, a task that they can go there and be able to make sure that the people of this country enjoy the good leadership qualities that she exhibited at the Ministry of Gender. So I, I, I am really disappointed and I thank God that she she uh, this in, she reneged by saying she doesn't want that position. It's true, she doesn't need it. And so if the president should give her a position of her, of her choice, you There's, believe that she it's should not take the, it? It's not the matter of position of choice. It's the matter of uh, uh, you being recognized that the, the efforts you are making is something that the society is seeing and then they are trying to rule. Like, not even rewarding. You should have left her at the gender ministry because this is the time I have never seen. The truth is that this woman has worked so hard and doesn't deserve to be demoted. I told you how she brought all the other women organizers from the various political parties, devoid of political colors. It has never ha they happened in the history of Ghana. And this woman is the only one who brought it. So I am disappointed that the president have decided to demote her by asking her to take an ambassadorial position. Thank you, Janet. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Janet Nabla is the chairperson of the Coalition of All Women Organizers, and they say they are backing Utiko Javis' um, quitting of politics.